So what are you doing? It is 10 o'clock. About one minute to 10 on a Saturday. Got a little bit late this morning. Going for a rip. Good morning. Um, the reason being, I, I put new brakes on. New brakes and new uh, discs. So, good morning. I won't have any more issues with brakes. Or I shouldn't. Unless I installed something wrong and I have to adjust something. But other than that, because this is the first, I haven't done a shakedown run of the brakes yet. This is it. So you'll experience them with me. <laughs> Already I can tell that the left one there's a, um, I have it too low or too high, one or the other. Um, too, too close to the new brisk, new brisk, new disc that I installed or too far, uh, I think probably too close. I shouldn't say too far because it wouldn't make a sound if it was too far. Good morning. Man, this thing's rolling really good. I wonder if that was the old brakes rubbing or something. That's why I notice it. Because it's just rolling. Huh. So. If you follow the channel, you know that um, my quad has uh, 220 millimeter Magura discs. And I picked those because they're the biggest I could find. And uh, Magura boasts about them because they're much thicker than um, than everybody else's brake discs. So, I put those on my quad and put uh, the Magura E stop. brakes on my quad as well those are those are built for uh, e-mountain bikes so I figured they'd be good for for these I bought uh, I bought these brakes it was one of the items that I that I bought before I even bought the the quad or the trike because I wanted to put them on or swap out what they had put on and and put these on because they're super good and I knew that whatever was on these things from the factory was the or from the bike shop was just what they could get away with <clears throat> and they wouldn't stand up to to these monster wow these are nice <laughs> the monster uh, motors holy crap yeah that's a different okay i'm glad i put them on here in either case i i put them on my quad when when we first got them along with the uh the electronic shifter um, wireless derailleur that I put on it. Um, sorry, I'm, I can't think for some reason. Man, it's rolling really super good. Anyway, I put them on my, my quad. Had, had a bit of a, uh, a couple of issues way back when. Um, 
I think mostly because of experience. I just didn't have any experience with uh, hydraulic brakes at all. All my experience was just way back um, ripping my bikes apart and putting them back together um, with regular center pull brakes, you know. So that was my <clears throat> my experience level. I mean, I, I think it was uh, more than most because. I mean, I, I ripped everything apart and put it back together when I was a kid on my bikes. I mean, just everything. I didn't take it to a bike shop. Um, anyway, I learned a lot. And, and you know, the whole time I, I, I've had these things, I've learned a hell of a lot. Not only bike stuff, but uh, lots of electrical stuff. Lots and lots and lots and lots of electrical stuff. So, man, they work really super good. Man, it's like really easy to pull them and they stop really good. Wow, this is great. Good morning, gentlemen. So anyway, I put mine on and, and tested them out and everything uh, when I first got these things and, and found out, wow, they, you know, they really work good. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't have anything to compare them to really because uh, other, well, other than my mongoose, I have a mongoose um, bike that, that I bought when I was like, I don't know, 19 or so. And uh, gosh, I just lost what I was saying. Got to be about the brakes. Anyway, my brakes, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't work. I tried to put them on, on this, on Steven's trike and, and I just couldn't get them to work. I, I don't know what it was, but uh, I don't remember what it was back then, but they just wouldn't work on on uh, on this, on his trike. And uh, I didn't understand it. And I was just getting so frustrated. It was <laughs> it was the first uh, modifications that I made on, on this thing, these things. And, and it just frustrated the hell out of me that I just dropped it and put the other ones back on. Uh, because I had put the, the uh, same uh, discs, the 220s, that, that, or tried to put the same disc, the 220s, on this as I did on mine, uh, the 220 millimeter discs, which are amazing. <laughs> um, and I, 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 I just couldn't do it. It, it. it wouldn't work. So I just stopped and put them away and uh, Put the other ones back on, the mechanical brakes. Good morning. And uh, just dealt with those, you know, as you have seen. So. Now. I've got the right stuff on here. I went back to it, figured what the hell. I have the experience now. I've taken the brakes on and off the, the quad about a thousand times each and put them someplace else or whatever, you know? So, I figured, what the hell, I'll try. Morning. And 
and uh, so this time it worked as you can see it works wonderfully good morning Um, now what I didn't end up putting on was the big monster 220s the discs I put on uh, 203s the next step down good morning ladies I put on the next step down which was uh, 203 millimeter uh, break this because uh, I didn't have a I'm surprised, but I didn't have two more 220s. I only had uh, two more 203s left in my stash, in my top stock. <laughs> I anticipated so much stuff with this thing. I just bought, you know, two or four of everything. So the only thing is I only bought two of the 220s, so. I have to go with the smaller discs on this. They're much bigger than the other ones. The other ones were only 160s. These are these are 203s. So, you know, they're they're up 23 millimeters, <laughs> which is pretty a pretty large amount in in centimeter land. <laughs> God, this thing feels really light today. It really rolls really good. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just feeling better today than normal. I don't know. Anyway, ooh, stinky water. Something stinky. Phew, usually doesn't smell like that under that bridge. Man, these are nice. Oh man, where the other ones, the mechanical brakes. Feel like When you press the brake, you press, you press, you press, and you stop at it. Your hand stop and you start stopping. Where these are different. It's more like uh, more like a car, how it's gradual, you know? If you're if you want to just, you know, go like this a little bit, it'll it'll slow down for you. And then if you want it to stop, you just squeeze a little bit harder, but it's a lot easier to press. That's very nice. I like it. That's a big difference. That is a big difference. That's good. So they work really nice. Did I finish my story? <laughs> Probably not. They work super nice. I like it. Let's go have some fun. Not worrying about brakes, not worrying about anything. Man, I had to grip those mechanical brakes. I had to grip them <laughs> to get those suckers to stop. I'll tell you what. All right. Yeah, here we go.
Man, this is working really good today. Man, other than the brakes, it's just, holy crap, this is working good. Oh man, what a great day. What a great day. Man. Yesterday was not a great day. I was down in the dumps for most of the day. So that's, that's why I didn't make a vlog. But today is turning out to be a really, really good day. So I think I'm going to be able to turn this thing much better with with the assistance of the new brakes. I do that a bit with my uh, with my quad. Probably not as much. I don't I don't need to. I don't think as much as I uh, do on this with the single wheel in the back and with the the ease of tippage I'm really glad that uh, I had this thing apart this morning because uh, I noticed I noticed that these two inside nuts completely loose <laughs> which is not good because they're directly attached to the two axles <laughs> I mean there's other stuff that hold it together but but those are the two biggest things that hold the, the axle on the frame Good morning. So I tightened those up real good. I, uh, I had that problem with my quad at first. And uh, every day I would come, uh, that was per, uh, blah, blah, part of my, uh, you know, pre-flight check or whatever and uh, until I finally good morning until I finally had a light bulb moment and, and put Loctite on it and so far so good they haven't loosened up I still check them every once in a while so I'll end up doing it on on this as well when I remember
A lot of people, God, this is different. <laughs> a lot of people doing their lawn this morning. Probably because it's so nice. It's beautiful out. Man, it works good. Thanks, man. Have a good day. <laughs> this is freaking awful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is so much fun. Morning, bud. What's going on, bud? How much did that cost you? Um, 25, 35, 45, about five grand. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because I bought the basic. This is my son's, the smaller one. I have a bigger one. Um, but I bought the basic, the basic, uh, uh, trike and then I upgraded everything and then added the motor and the battery and all that all stuff. Right. Have a good one, buddy. Yes, Man, that's really nice. I don't have to think about stopping 20 minutes before I actually have to. That is nice. Let's see, will, it, will I have a chance? Any chance at all? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I have a chance right here. There's a different way in here, huh? I'm getting cocky with these new brakes.
Oh no, that was irresponsible of me. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't follow the rules of the road. Sorry. Man, it's nice to just be able to touch these things <laughs> and slow down. Man! Uh. This makes me feel better about him riding this thing, too. If and when he ever does, at least he can stop on a dime. Morning. Morning. <laughs>